Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. And as for any thoughts that would pull you away from the breath, just let them go. Don't let them win out over your mind. There is a battle that goes on inside between you and your greed, and you and your anger, between you and your delusion. If you side with these things, they're going to lead you astray. So you have to separate yourself from them. And learn to see that the, the big battle in life that's most important to win is your battle over your defilements. We live our lives so many times trying to win out over other people. They've done us wrong or they've beaten us in some battle, and we try to get back at them and try to settle the score. But settling the scores in that way, as the Buddha says, just leads to more animosity, more hostility, more antagonism, and becomes a never-ending cycle back and forth. And then in the effort to settle the score, both sides get a really bad score in terms of how they're dealing with their defilements and the bad karma they create for themselves. So you have to realize that there are a lot of the battles out there in the world that are just simply not worth fighting. No need to try to win out in every area. You make efforts in areas that really do matter. But there's so many battles in the world about things that don't matter at all. And as I would have said, when we think about the fact that we're all going to be dying pretty soon and the little bits and pieces of victories we get over one another just don't mean anything much at all. So you look inside. What are the battles that need to be fought? The battles inside. The battles against your unskillful qualities, greed, aversion, and delusion, lust, fear, jealousy. These things are things you have to win out over. If you win out over these things, as the Buddha said, you've won a really good victory. You could win out over thousands of people out there, he said, but it's not nothing compared to victory over this one person, i.e. the person you're responsible for right now. So he's just sitting here focusing on the breath. Regard everything else that's not related to the breath as something you just have to put aside. No matter how interesting or how entertaining the thought may be, or maybe it might be related to your work, you say, right now is not the time for that. I need time to train my mind. So really unskillful things come in. You have the strength to withstand them. And this way you win an important victory, a victory that really is worth winning. And you can live in the world without antagonism. Because when you're looking outside for happiness, then you're looking at areas that don't have to do with fat <coughs> fame or status or wealth. You look in areas that have to do with being opportunities to be generous, opportunities to observe the precepts, opportunities to meditate. These ways of looking for happiness spread the happiness around. You benefit, the people around you benefit as well. It's not like the case with wealth. You gain something and it has to be taken away from somebody else. And with fame and status, the same sort of thing. You gain a particular status, somebody else has to lose that or else be excluded from it. That kind of happiness creates divisions. So look for happiness where there's no winners or losers, where there's nothing but winners. In terms of being generous, in terms of being virtuous, in terms of getting some control over your mind. So you can win this inner victory, the victory that really matters. <laughs>